Welcome back everyone. In this video we see Paul Murphy's amazing game. This game was played in 1858 in London. And important point is Paul Murphy play without F7 pawn. So you can imagine that how dangerous it is. So Paul Murphy play with black pieces and John Owen play with white pieces. So John starts with e4 d6 so paul morphy can develop his bishop then move his bishop on f7 d5 knight f6 bishop c4 knight c6 knight c3 e6 knight f3 d5 so pressure is on bishop so white continue with bishop d3 If white take this pawn, then e takes d5 comes, and white has to move his bishop. So white first move his bishop on d3, and now you can see that threat is d takes e4, and fork on these two pieces. So Paul Murphy continue with bishop b4, and pin this knight. So knight can't support on e4. So Paul Morphy can capture this pawn and create fork on both pieces. So White continue with Bishop G5 and White also pins Paul Morphy's knight. So Knight can't support on E4. So White can capture this pawn with his Bishop because this knight is pin. So Paul Morphy continue with A6, E5. So if Paul Morphy take this bishop, then White can take Paul Morphy's knight. He takes bishop, but White didn't take knight and continue with bishop g6 check. King f8, knight takes g5, and the threat is knight f7 and create fork on both pieces. So Paul Morphy continue with rook h6 and create pressure on bishop. If white continue with knight f7, then Paul Morphy can move his queen on e8, and after knight takes rook, queen takes bishop comes, and the white can't save his knight because this g4 square is covered with knight. So white first save his bishop on d3, but Paul Morphy didn't save his knight and continue with king g8. And finally, White take this knight. He takes knight, queen takes f6, and the pressure is on knight. So White save his knight on f3. E5, d takes e5, knight takes e5. And finally, White castles king side. So this decision to castle king side is very dangerous for White because this rook's line is open. So Paul Morphy can attack easily on king side. So here in this position, pause the video and think, what is the next move of Paul Morphy? If you find the move, congrats. And before continue, I take your few seconds. So most of viewers didn't subscribe the channel. So I request you please subscribe the channel for watch more this type of games. Let's continue. So Paul Murphy continue with queen f4. And the threat is simple. Paul Murphy want to eliminate this knight. Then queen takes h2 comes and checkmate. If white continue with g3 then knight takes knight comes and the king has two options. But king go anyway. Checkmate comes immediately. You can see that because knight supports this rook. And if king move to g2, then also rook takes h2 comes and checkmate. So white can't move g3. So white continue with h4. And finally, Paul Morphy take this knight. Knight takes knight and check. And white can't move his king. 
because checkmate comes immediately. And if white take this knight with his pawn, then queen takes h4 comes and the white can't prevent this checkmate. So white continue with queen takes knight. Queen takes h4 and the threat is simple. You can see that. And the white can't move his queen on h3 because this bishop covers h3 square. So white continue with queen takes d5 and check. And the final move from Paul Murphy. Bishop e6 and after bishop e6 white resigned here. Reason for resign is white can't prevent checkmate and the rook supports this bishop. So white resigned here.